ballistic pendulum a bullet moving at an unknown speed is fired into a stationary mass tied to the ceiling with one or more massless threads after collision the bullet gets embedded and both move together to a vertical height h is equal to 0.12 meters from its position before and then it comes to a stop momentarily based on the info provided how do you calculate the speed of the bullet before collision so the question is what is the velocity of the bullet the block is at rest what is the only info that we know that after collision they both move together to a height h and that h is equal to 0.12 meters what else we know we are given the mass of the bullet 50 grams we don't know the speed of the bullet we are given the mass of the block we are told that the block is at rest and don't forget we know that after collision they both move together to a height h is equal to 0.12 meters so this is after collision after collision they both move together so the mass is now 250 plus 50 So once the bullet is fired into the block what happens to the bullet it stays inside the block it rises to a certain height h because the bullet is colliding with the block so this is the block because the bullet is colliding with the block we can use conservation of momentum whenever we have collisions you can always think of the conservation of momentum we have two masses the bullet the mass of the bullet and the mass of the block we have its own velocities the bullet has its velocity before collision the block has its velocity before collision it is at rest so it's equal to zero after collision what happens they both move together so bullet and the block have the same speed so what is the equation for the momentum conservation momentum of the colliding masses before collision equals momentum of the masses after collision we have the bullet and the block what is the momentum of the bullet before collision what is the momentum of the block before collision what is the momentum of the bullet after collision what is the momentum of the block after collision so mass of the bullet times velocity of the bullet plus mass of the block times velocity of the block so this is before before collision and that is equal to mass of the bullet times velocity of the bullet and block why velocity of the bullet and block both bullet and block have the same velocity after after the bullet gets embedded into the block both bullet and block move together so velocity of the bullet and block is the same what is the only difference the masses are different mass of the bullet is different from mass of the block according to what is given based on this can we find out what is the speed of the bullet no why not we know we know mass of the bullet we don't know velocity of the bullet we know the mass of the block we know velocity of the block before collision so this whole thing is equal to zero we know mass of the bullet we do not know velocity of the bullet and block we know the mass of the block we do not know the velocity of the bullet and block there is a common factor here and that is the bullet and the block the speed of the bullet and block so put that in red and take the common out velocity of the bullet and block is common to both the mass of the bullet and the mass of the block so take the speed of the bullet and block out 
and you have mass of the bullet times speed of the bullet before collision equals equals mass of the bullet plus mass of the block times speed of bullet and block. We do not know the speed of bullet before collision. We do not know the speed of bullet and block after collision. Now, we are given h is equal to 0 0.12 meters. We are given the height to which the bullet and the block rises. And we are also told that momentarily it comes to a stop. So let's call this point A and call this point B. Speed at point A is speed of the bullet and block. What is speed at B? Speed at B is equal to zero. What is potential energy at B? MGH, where M is the total mass. How about potential energy at point A? It's zero. Total mechanical energy is conserved after collision. After the collision, it has kinetic energy at the bottom, but zero potential energy at the bottom. It has potential energy at the maximum height, but zero kinetic energy at the maximum height. So when it is zero, ignore it. When it is zero, ignore it. That gives us the kinetic energy at the bottom plus zero equals zero plus m total times gh. Immediately you see that the masses cancel out and you multiply by two on both sides and you get speed of the bullet and the block together squared is equal to two gh. So how do you get the speed? Square root. So kinetic energy at the bottom, one half, mass of the bullet and block, speed of the bullet and block squared. What is potential energy at the bottom? It is zero. How about potential energy at the maximum height is MGH. MGH, do not forget, it is the bullet and the block together. How about kinetic energy at the maximum height? It is zero. One half M bullet and block, speed of the bullet and block squared at the bottom. So this is at the bottom. This is at the top. So we get this equation. Speed of the bullet squared equals 2 GH. Substitute G equals 9.8 meters per second per second. And H is equal to 0 0.12 meters. And we get speed squared is equal to 2 times G times H or 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.12, which is 2.352. Square of the speed is 2.352. So what is the speed? Square root. So you get 1.534 meters per second. We know the speed at point A after collision. We know the speed at point A after collision. Momentum of the bullet before collision. Momentum of the block before collision equal to momentum of the bullet after collision plus momentum of the block after collision. Substitute the numbers that we know. We know the mass of the bullet is 50 grams. Mass of the block is 250. Initially the block was zero. We don't know the bullet speed before collision. We know the mass of the bullet, mass of the block, we now know something else, and that is the speed of the bullet and the block after collision, so many meters per second. So substitute all those numbers that we have. So 50 times 50 is the mass of the bullet times speed of the bullet before collision. 250 is the mass of the block, but it is stationary, zero speed. 50 is the mass of the bullet, but it is moving at 1.534. 250 is the mass of the block. It is moving at the same speed, 1.534. Substitute, and we get 50 times speed of the bullet is equal to 460.2. Divide both sides by 50, and we get speed of the bullet is 9.204 meters per second. 9.204 meters per second. Why did I not convert 50 grams to kg? 
mass appearing on both sides. So it is not necessary, but it is really up to you. All right. But anyway, velocity of the bullet before collision is 9.204 meters per second. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.